So this week, unfortunately for me, my washing machine has just packed up. So I thought I'd do a quick video on me installing that washing machine. So that's what you're gonna see in a few minutes. Now I knew my machine was going wrong. However, I thought it could possibly still be under guarantee. I had a five year warranty with it. It's a Siemens washing machine. It's been really good. But recently, the past month or two, maybe longer, it's been really, really noisy. A couple of days ago, it started tripping my electrics, so I had to replace it. I've been deciding all week what I was going to go for. I was going to go for a Bosch, which has an auto dosing. With the auto dosing machine, you can actually pull the tray out, you put all your powder and your fabric softener in, and it actually works out how much your load is in there, depending on what setting you put it to, and it'll only put the right amount of liquid and detergent actually in the machine. So you actually save yourself a lot of money over the year with the amount of powder you use. Because obviously when we do it, when I do it, I just fill the powder up, fill the fabric softener up, and you're probably using too much. However, quite an expensive one. I didn't want to go that high. And I still wanted a big sized drum. So I wanted a 10 or 11 kg. So in the end, I've gone for a Blomberg, which is probably our most popular, well it is our most popular brand in white goods now in kitchen appliances. It used to be Bosch, and that is a close runner up. But it's now Blomberg. And the reason it's Blomberg is they're very competitively price within the market and they actually have a three year warranty on all freestanding appliances. If it's a built-in appliance, say a built-in oven, built-in dishwasher, anything integrated, you actually get a five year warranty, providing you actually fill out your warranty form, which a lot of you don't do. You've got to fill out your warranty forms no matter what you buy from us. Unfortunately, due to data protection, GDPR, we can't anymore fill out the warranty claims for you. So you'll just get your standard one or two years, but if you've got extended warranties, which come with some of the machines, make sure you fill them out. Even like the air fryers and stuff like that, some of them come with two or three year warranty, do fill out all the forms. Because if not, it can just be a hassle later on if you do get an issue. Anyway, so I've gone for the 11 kilogram Blomberg. At the minute it's a seven kilogram, so it's gonna be a much bigger drum. Now we've got a bigger family, it was just me and Shella. Now I've got Tula, and we've got little baby Wade on the way. That's what I want to call baby. We know he's a baby boy now. I don't know if I've actually said on YouTube. I'm sure I've said on Facebook. But yeah, little baby Wade is coming in about six weeks time. However, I think it might be sooner than that. So I wanted a nice large drum and I've chosen the Blomberg. So I'm just going to go and fetch it from the stores in a few minutes and I'll install it. But first, I've got to actually disconnect and remove the old one. It's still got water in it and I can't pump it out because as soon as I turn it on, all the electric blows. So I might record me disconnecting it and then installing the new machine. It's Saturday afternoon and it's the first time I've actually managed to bring the camera out and film the extension. So let's have a look at what they've been doing this week. So you can see this bit looks a little bit different. We've got a frame in for the fire door. That's going just there. And you can see they've been bricking up all around it. Now we need that door there, even though we've got a doorway just here, that's our double door. That's the main door that we're gonna be bringing all the white goods in, all the kitchen appliances. That'll be going through there, but we need the fire door as well. Which is that one just there. So let's go through and see what else has changed. Be careful not to knock anything. So last week you saw that we put the, well not me, but the builders put the steel work up and all the pillars. Now we've got it this side as well. So they're going all the way across there and they've built this wall out to take the frame, the supports to that bit just there. And that's the back of where the fire door will be. So next week, they'll be finishing doing this part here. That'll be all bricked up. And then he'll start over here, finish the apex. And then, I think we're ready for the roof. It's just gone past 10 o'clock on a Saturday night and I've finally got round to sort in my washing machine out. So let's have a look. This is the washing machine just here and sorry about the actual location of it. It's not the nicest part of the house. This part of the house is actually falling down as you can see from the floor and the actual wall well, it's got cracks all the way up there and if I touch it, it all starts going a little bit loose. So we'll um, probably not touch it. And then this part of the wall, I don't know if you can actually see, it's worse on the other side where the conservatory is, but all this part of the wall is actually falling as well. And while we're at it, I might as well show you the conservatory. Oh, we've got George, Lucy, got Gibson over there, a bit dark, but we can't see him. But this all started cracking away 
last year and we've got plans in to have a big extension um, knock all this down but we just haven't got round to actually um, doing that part yet yeah, it's quite expensive so might have to leave it a couple of years providing this stands up if not we're going to actually knock this bit down I'm just going to show you outside where the worst bit is let's just bring the dogs out come on Gibson right so I've got the torch from my phone and the worst bit is actually under here if you can see the conservatory is completely falling away and then in here it looks absolutely terrible you can pretty much see through to the house so that's why we need this sorting and that's why it looks so bad in that room because we haven't got around sorting it out yet so it just needs knocking down rather than just a bit of decorating so quite some major work which we'll get done at some point let's go back to the washing machine Right, thanks for the help guys. So there is the washing machine and as I think I said on the previous video it's still got water inside. I can't turn it on, as soon as I turn it on um, the electrics trip and all my sockets downstairs go off. So the first thing to do, I've got a bucket, we'll try and empty as much water as possible and uh, hopefully it will drain out. If not, I've got to try and get it outside without making a mess. So let's put the camera down somewhere where you can see what I'm actually doing. Right, so first we'll just take the water off, the main water inlet, get rid of that bit that way, and then we can concentrate on draining down the washing machine. Right, the water won't come out, so let's go to Wade's. We're going to get my wheels and get the new machine. We'll get that out here, then we'll wheel this one out. Luckily, I live quite near to the shop, so it's easy to do work at night. That's my house, and that is the shop. Quite close. What I'm going to do now is actually unwrap it and um, I'd normally unwrap it at the house, but I don't want to make a lot of noise till it's in bed. So we'll unwrap it here, get rid of the polystyrene, and then we'll take it into the house and get it installed. There we go, all unwrapped, ready to take to my house. Right, so here it is. I've just got to undo the transit bolts, and you can probably see down here at the front there's a tab, and underneath that there's a block of polystyrene that helps hold the drum still while it's in transit. But first, we'll take the bolts out. So on the back of the Flomberg, they have 10 mil bolts holding the drum in position. On this particular one, we have five. So I take the metal bit out and all that plastic bit out, and then we do the polystyrene bit at the front. these little caps we just put them in so there's not a hole in the back of the machine Then we always tell customers to actually keep the transit bolts because if you ever move you should put these back in before you put that in the lorry to move to your new house right let's get rid of that polystyrene bit at the front right now I've just got to get it into position which isn't the easiest because it has that massive plinth but won't be an issue Right, it's roughly in position. Now just got to connect the pipe to the waste outlet. Frustratingly, if you look at the washing machine now, you can see how much it's leaning. That's because this part of the house, it's all leaning away, it's all subsiding. Um, it is only this like utility cupboard and the conservatory, the main house is all fine. But just have a look at this before I try and level it up. What I may have to do, if I can't get it very level, um, it's in the morning, put another bit of wood underneath just to jack it up and make it level. But look how unlevel that is. I don't know if it actually shows very well on camera, but it's really bad and it's uh, rocking all over the place. So let's see what I can do. I can't get it very level, 
as you can see, like that. Took into the van, and we've got a few bits of wood. So, look who's helping me. It's little Casper. What are you doing behind there? So, I've got it level. Have a look at this. That looks pretty good to me. But if we get back, it doesn't look the best. But this is the only way of getting it that level because the feet will not adjust that much. There's only about an inch probably on the feet and then you're locking that to lock it in position. So we need to jack it up with that bit of wood. It's much better for that to be level and to be crooked. So uh, this will be fine. So I'll get all the protective tape off and we'll give it a go. Remember, Blomberg has a three-year guarantee with all its freestanding appliances and a five-year with all its integrated appliances. So let's just turn it on and see how we go. With these, it doesn't matter which way you turn it, and we'll just leave it on cottons for now. You can see it's a two-hour, 34-minute cycle, 1400 spin, 40 degree. You can change it all with your temperature, your spin speed, your pre-wash, steam, your short wash, so basically your pre-short wash, you can see it reduces the time. You've got an ending in button, so what that does, if you put it to four hours, it'll come on in four hours time. Now let's just reset that. What I'm gonna do, because I've got a new machine now, is I'll do a review on this machine soon. And over the next couple of weeks, um, I'll put it on test and I'll tell you exactly what I think to it. I really liked my Siemens machine. Had that since 2014, now 2023. It's time for a change. So we've gone for a Blomberg. I wanted the big drum. We've got the 11 kg. So we'll see. It lives up to my expectations. The last one was only a seven kilogram. So let's have a look at the drum. It is quite large. So we should be able to fit plenty of clothes and all our bedding in there. Um, you can see it's actually a Bluetooth enabled machine and you can download programs. And I think this is all off Wi-Fi but I'll find out much more detail about that and do a proper review as soon as I can. Run a cycle, all I'm gonna do to make sure the water's coming in, make sure it's draining properly, there's no, there's no kinks in the pipes. I'm just gonna put it onto the fast all load. So this machine will do 11 kilograms. That's massive. It'll do 11 kilograms in 28 minutes. I can do it even quicker than that. So what I'm gonna do, I'll do a short wash, press that, and it'll go down to 19 minutes. So all we have to do now, press start, and you should hear the door click. That means that's locked. And now let's see if the water is gonna come in. There we go. So we'll go into your pre-wash section first. So it'll then go in to where your normal powder is just there and your fabric softener goes in the middle. When we install a washing machine at a customer's house. We always like to put it on the fast, full load, put it to the shorter setting and just make sure the machine is working, that we have turned the water on, there's no, um, the pipe's not trapped anywhere, and that the water is going out the waste. So we know it's all working before we leave. So it's still filling up. It's got a big drum to fill up. I just wanted to show you it spinning round, and then I'll leave it doing its thing. There we go. Eighteen minutes to go. Let's see how we get on. And that's it. The cycle is all finished, and it was very, very quiet. My last washing machine, as I said earlier, has been going for a week for a while, and I don't know if it was the bearings or what it was, but it was very, very noisy. This was really good.